Hi there, and welcome back to Icewindale. I'm Baron, and we are also of the Bavarian camp here. And my party is buffed because I'm about to let Wolfstein have a deep look into our magical mirror, and he might not like it too much. And just in case the things go sour, I thought, you know, better be safe than sorry. I'd rather buff my party. Why have you come yet again, Outlander? I cannot allow you enter here. You must leave. Well, actually, I seek an audience with Wolfdeen. By what right? You are not of our blood. I have passed the test of tempers and I have shown that I am destined for a greater purpose. The time has come for me to fulfill that purpose. Yes, perhaps the time has come. My tempers continue to favor you. Come, I'll take you to Wolfdeen. Very well. Why are you here, Outlander? I see no shaman for you to hide behind this time. I have been to the sea of the ice caverns. She has sent me to you. I see. You lose one shaman who shielded you, and now you hide behind another. So tell me, why did she send you? To bring you a gift, Wolfdeen. A mirror of ice. Gift me a mirror? You humor me, Outlander. Neither I nor my people have use of such a thing. It is a toy of your people. It plays upon the vanity of fools and females. Why should she gift me such a thing? No. More likely this is some outlander trick designed to slay me. You seek to succeed where your previous assassin failed. You say that I hide behind a shaman, and all the while you hide behind a curtain of words. What is it that you fear? I am Wolfdane. Blessed and guided by the spirit of Jared. I fear nothing, Outlander. So you say, and yet you find a simple mirror to be daunting. I will gaze into the mirror without fear, see? Hmm. And what is it that you see? What truth is revealed to you? I see a man who accepts what he is, good or ill. A man who does not fear the truth of his own reflection. I wonder... What would the mighty Wolfdane see? What indeed? Wolfdane shall see the truth of his reflection, Outlander. He shall see a king raised from the dead, the forming of a great nation, and the triumph of his people as the Ten Towns are erased from the face of Faerun. Hold forth your mirror and behold such a king among men. Gaze deep, Wolfdane. Reveal to us the truth of your words. <laughs> Your mirror is nothing more than I expected. A simple toy that... No. No, it cannot be. What now? Oh. Oh, there's a continue button hidden here. What have I done? This hideous form defiles the majesty of my being. Enough! Put away your mirror! 84,000 XP. You have exposed Wolfdin and revealed the Dragon Queen Ikesarak. We have a sword that belongs in your heart. A majesty of your being? What the fuck? Ah, sight is painful, is it not, spirit? Such pain is well <coughs> known to me. And seeing yourself as you truly are, the most painful thing of all. Look into the mirror, creature that is Wolfdane. See truth. See yourself. What, what do you know of pain, pain, Hag? I held the North in my claws. When, when I spread, spread my wings, wings I shadowed the face of the world. world. I was a goddess. One man. One, One man, man took it all from me. My life, my love, everything, everything that I was. I only... I curse you and all your kind. I will yet see the day that I eradicate all humans. Oh, really? And I shall start with you, hag. Wait, Wolfdins. Oops. Oh, it's the spirit of a dragon. It is dumb. You were foolish to come here without telling us which. Had we known, we could have stayed with Dean's hand. This wound is by time's hand. There is no healing it. 
The time of my death is now upon me. Okay, let's not be cross with her when she dies. Try to comfort her. You have been brave to come, Seer. I thought you f the f your fear of death ruled you, and you would not help us face Wilfteen. I have found that fear, the fear of death, is no small thing to put aside. You spoke truth to me back in the gloom, Frost, <coughs> about my fear claiming me. I could not allow the hopes of my people and yours to be slain because of it. Death comes for all, and I, for one, see it, and now embrace it. Farewell, Seer. And now the battle at starts because there are egg travelers who are apparently good. And worm tribe warriors who are apparently evil, so we slay Any them. Any last words? Um, there's another red one here, and another red one I here. Will the field there is another red one here. That's actually rather easy. Your luck's run out. And another one here. Oh wait, there are more. We can't actually reach them. Ready. Use the slings. Then. I'm here. Here. Death comes for you. And there's another one here. Okay, that's all. I think those barbarians didn't drop anything useful, but let's check to see her. Okay, she has a cloak of woven hairs. So there are no more red Orders. barbarians in here. Give the word. So we I'm get listening. out and see whether oh, there are any more of those out here. Yes, there are. Slater! There's another one. We get them all? Yep, only friends around here. Let's take a look at the map. Okay. Alright. <coughs> so apparently someone is still somewhere fighting. We have to find that. What do we have here? Oh, here are. Uh, worm tribe you do warriors. Well, fear a woman's wrath. How about we kill them? Here's another one. You're gonna bleed. Time to trim this one down to size. What's that? Another one. Oh, there's only one left, is that right? Dead. There's another you one. Be ready well to hear a woman's wrath. Oh wait. The egg tribe of the tribe of the app is victorious over the tribe of the great worm. Yay! So the good ones won apparently, and we get three hundred thousand XP for that. Very nice. Who are you fighting? There's apparently. Another um, worm tribe warrior somewhere. Don't really know where though. <coughs> What's in that barrel? Egg trap warrior death. Where the fuck are you fighting? 
You have succeeded, my friends. The corrupt spirit has fled Wolfdane's body. Your heroic deeds shall forever be sung by my people. Really? Cool. However, I'm afraid our journey is not at an end. This spirit, this malevolent soul of a great worm, has fled the field, but it is still free to pursue its mission of terror and vengeance. I fear that until it is hunted down and destroyed, the threat of its return will hang over the heads of my people like an evil cloud. I would ask you to once again take up arms against this ancient hate, so that my people and yours can finally be at peace. Okay, and we could return to Kaldahar now, but uh, I don't want to do that now. We'd like to help, but you said it yourself, the spirit has fled. How are we to know where? I have learned that just two days ago, Wolfstein ordered a score of virgins to be taken by ship to an island upon the sea of moving ice. The island was once a sacred site where an elder tribe made sacrifices to their patron spirit, the Great Worm. The ancient tribe died out long ago, and with them died the practice of sacrificing virgins to appease the Great Worm. I believe that the spirit we routed today and the ancient spirit of the Great Worm are one and the same. That is why Wolfdane ordered such a sacrifice. So you think the spirit may have fled to this island? Yes. A ship stands ready to take you to the island. The warriors of the tribe of the Grey Whale, our seafaring cousins to the west, are prepared to show you the way. Actually, we are not up to the task just yet. Yeah, let's go to Lollywood and, you know, tell them that the Burn Third is over and stuff. I understand. Such a task is not to be taken lightly. Take what time you need to prepare yourselves. Return to me when you are ready and I shall see you to your ship. Thanks. So, but, uh, there is still a battle going on. Where? We should rise soon. Clothes. Find a secluded place to camp. The shadows called to me. Whatever we have to do, it'll keep till morning. Let's rest. Where are they fighting? Why the forced march? Not down here. We need to rest. Just standing around here, what are you? A bear trap warrior. Ow! Excuse me? Oh, yeah, that's the protective spell that was. nobody oh, well at least no worm thingy again no worm tribal variants all right gotta be somewhere around here you got I guess. it you have my attention Yes. 
exact word. The silent blade cuts best. I will clear the field presently. Come on, you can do it. Okay, I think that's it. Ready. I'll handle it. This is where Yolda is, okay. So that here is the healer. I welcome you humbly in the knowledge uh, we have wronged you. I am John, shaman of the Bear Tribe. Please accept our apologies. What did you know about Wolfdeen? In life, Wolfdeen was my friend and cousin. He was a truly noble man, stubborn and proud at times, but never like that thing that said among us. I was a fool for believing he was my kid. <coughs> he fooled many people. Why should you have been different? I am blood of his blood. I should have known. I suspected at first, but I was so proud to see all of our people gathered, all for one cause. We were united at last. I was blinded by pride. Perhaps someday you will find another reason to unite. If so, my heart will sing again on that day. For now I will have to hope that Uthgar and Tempus will fill my sleep with visions of, furry glo of a glorious future. Did you see where the dragon fled? The spirit fled? Whatever spirit is trapped within that body, it is not Wolfdeen. I am sorry I cannot be of more help. Perhaps one of the br uh, others here may have seen where the coward fled. Can you provide me with healing? Yeah. He is out of his temple here. Good. A few potions. And a cloak. Wailing of virgin. This thin cloak appears frayed at first, but upon close inspection, the straight. Be quiet. Are you done now? No. Okay, we leave this noisy place. Oh, hi. Do you have anything to say? Greetings and well met friends. You have performed a great service to the tribes, one that can never be fully repaid. How may I serve you? Did you see where the dragon spirit fled? No. He didn't see it. Okay. So Um the stray threads are actually human hairs from which the cloak is woven. The cloak twists in torchlight, each strand of hair reveling and unraveling about the other so subtly that it appears as if, it's, as if a light breeze is rippling the cloak. The cloak is woven from the hair of virgins sent to the burial isle to sleep with their dead barbarian lords. Like forever or just for a night? It was that the seer's duty to comfort these women. It was the seer's duty to comfort these women, to soothe their pain. In order to do so, she took a lock of hair from each and wove the strands into a cloak that would draw the spirits of fear from the virgins and steady their hearts. The result was a cloak that hangs heavy with guilt and does little to shield the wearer from the cold of the north. When worn, the hairs weave around the wielder's frame, the long strands lacing together like threads on a loom. The cloak will not willingly unravel itself from the wearer without being cursed by a removed curse spell. So that actually is cursed. But it gives you a plus 4 versus crushing, piercing and missile attacks and a plus 2 versus slashing attacks. And the wearer is immune to all fear based effects, emotion of hopelessness and uh, symbol of uh, hopelessness. That's that's good, but it's it's actually it's cursed. But since uh, Adana no uh, Goldmund gets so heartbroken easily, I guess I will replace its plus four versus missile cloak of displacement and the plus two the saving throws. That also has a plus four versus missiles and crushing and piercing and plus two versus slashing. So I guess it's better. Okay. And yeah, the potions go in here. 
and she actually leveled. Godmund leveled. Now she's a level what? 23 cleric. Does she get new spells? Another healing. This is the seventh healing spell. <laughs> awesome. That's it. And Zeldana leveled two. Now she's level 19 mage. Does she get new spells? Another level 8 spell. What do I want? I take Abi Dalsim's Horrid White Wilting. That sounds nice. Okay, let's return to Lonelywood then. <coughs> And since everybody is fatigued, we should rest. Understood. Done. for the night we only take the best thank you orders and for thank no you. apparent reason I'm going to buff my party now what do you want Manus. you want me I'm ready I'm ready and willing something wrong what do you need? Ready and waiting. Hmm. Give me a target. I'm listening. I'm listening. Yes. And the last haste. You have my attention. Very well. Let's get Understood. out of here. Hail and well met strangers. My name is Vaglan, humble scribe and scholar from the city of Luskan. I have just arrived in your lovely town on an errand of great importance. Perhaps you would be so kind as to furnish me with some information that may aid me in my task? Just arrived, eh? Tell me how you'd manage to get past the barbarians and camps in Bremen's run? My means of travel are not important. On the other hand, the business that brings us to Lonely Red is very important. Us? I take it you are not alone? Apparently not. You're wasting your time, Morglin. It's obvious these buffoons know nothing of Alecander. I say we burn down this pathetic excuse for a town and slaughter its inhabitants. If the traitor is here, such a display would truly draw him out. Calm yourself, Alpheus. There is no need for such heavy-handed tactics. These folks seem reasonable enough. Surely they see that it is in their best interest to cooperate. Now, I am feeling particularly generous today, so I am offering, I'm going to offer you a deal. You will tell us exactly where to find our friend and, in exchange, we promise that no one in this town shall come to harm. What say you? Hmm. I'd sooner strike a deal with a pit fiend. Now I suggest you and your lackey leave town before I show that once or fall up your ropes, you'll be coughing up fireballs for a week. <laughs> yeah, that's nice, I say that. Uh, why must they always be so difficult? Difficult suits me fine. Shall we kill them now? Very well. But dispatch them quickly. Alexander cannot be far off. The sooner we find him, the sooner we can remove his traitorous heart and return to the host tower. So I guess they're talking about the innkeeper here. Oh, more of them to cloak. Can I? Well, get the fuck out, stop. I love yes. the cloaking mages, doesn't matter. So, first we kill this roped man here, and Zeldana throws here. in a web for good measure. Here. What? He's dead. 
Um, this is another. No, this is a mercenary warrior. This is a mercenary warrior. What's that here? Priestess of Shaw. Any we last killed words? it. Hey, and this looks to be a mage. We kill one this one too. Oh, he's dead already. What do we have? A mercenary warrior? And another mercenary warrior. We kill this one first. Dead. What's that here? Mercenary thief. Kill this one too. And you're the last one, my friend. That wasn't too difficult, I say. I'll handle it. Let the loot begin. Oh. Yeah. All that stuff has to go to Zeldana, I guess. Because she is in the identifying business. Oh, two more. Okay. What's that? Want of paralyzation. Useless. Ring of reaction. Don't need it. Ring of protection plus two. Nobody can equip it. Golden girdle. We don't need it. Rope of the neutral archmage. We don't have neutral mages. Oh, I don't know what that is. Well then, identified. Barry amulet. Simultaneously casts stone skin and minor globe of invulnerability on the user. I don't think we need that. Bracers of Defense AC6. A major of fire resistance. Uh, no. Amulet of Meta Spell Influence. We get another second level spell. We already had one of those in the beginning of the game. Gauntlets of Ogre Power. Don't need it. Long Sword of Action plus 4. Nice, but we have better swords. Battle axe plus three fatigue. I'm not into battle axes. Thank you. And that's probably a full plate mail plus one. Okay. What about this one here? Large shield plus one. Gauntlets of weapon expertise. Taco plus one. Damage plus two. I think Storm already has those. Yep. Weapon skill. Tackle plus one. Excuse me? Tackle plus damage plus two, so it's actually better. But then switch them. Ding. And you take those then. <laughs> and let me guess. Full play damage plus one. Okay. More loot? Yes, here's more loot. Yeah, you don't know what that is, I know. <laughs> Boots of stealth. Hey, something for the thief, right? Okay, we put those in here. Plate mail armor, armor class zero. Minus one, zero. Full plate mail plus one. That is just plate mail. That's, is it not magical?
Armor class zero. Special plus three versus missiles. Armor class zero. It's full plate plus one. It looks the same. But if it's not magical, it means I could probably use another magical item. That would be awesome. Oh, I can't identify it anymore. Uh, fast flail plus two. Uh, the short sort of backstab. <clears throat> okay. Ready. So I guess we have to take a break here because it's late and then we will continue in the next video. I cannot save it at time because of the web spell. Okay, then let's do something else first. Um You still gotta go to the mayor and tell him, you know, that the barbarian threat has ended. Understood. Oh, see. There's his wife lying on the floor. She's dead. Got it. And there's he. Oh, hi, who are you? Purvis. Ah, the saviors of Lonelywood have returned. I'm glad you're here, actually. It saves me the trouble of having to track you down. Purvis, what are you doing here? Just tying up a few loose ends. Disposing of that bumbling wagon maker and his snobbish wife was hardly worth the effort, but in my line of work it pays to keep things nice and tidy. You killed the Thurlows? Why? I had no choice. They knew too much. If word goes out that someone else had fulfilled my contract for me, my reputation as an assassin would be tarnished. It is bad for business, you see. Assassin? I thought you were a grave digger. Clever disguise, was it not? Although I must say I was growing rather tired of the charade. All that digging was giving me blisters. And that stupid girl child. If that little brat only knew uh, how close she came to death. One more Brea cone lopped into my direction. And I swear I would have sliced her throat. Why would you pretend to be a grave digger? Because I am an assassin, you adult. I needed to keep a low profile while in town. A proper assassination takes time, you know. There's a lot of planning involved. You have to lie low, gather information on the mark, then strike when they least expect it. I was just about to make my move when a delegate from the Ten Towns arrived in Lonelywood. That buffoon Baldemar mistook him for the assassin and hired for the assassin hired to kill the barbarian king. The two morons nearly ruined it for me. Oh, so the man with the eye patch was an assassin. After the barbarians tortured and killed the delegate, they doubled the guards around the camp, making it next to impossible for me to sneak in to make the kill. Fortunately for me, you arrived and did the job for me. Thank you. Now that Wolfdin is dead and gone, all that remains for me is to do is collect my fee. Of course, you understand that I'll have to dispose of you as well. I can't have you running about telling everyone that it was you who killed the barbarian king now, can I? But there's a time and place for everything. I fear now I must take my leave of you. I have a few errands to run before I leave town. But I'll be seeing you soon, I promise. Very soon. Farewell. And yeah, he drinks a potion and guilt goes away, I guess. Hey, can I get control? Yeah, thanks. He's gone. So we leave too. Alright. Understood. I think he's supposed to be somewhere around here. Oh, there. Purvis. I don't know whether it is wise to attack, you know, a four man party like fully armed. Mm, no, probably it was not. What did you have? Everybody seems to be having those rings of freedom. Uh, free action, I don't know. Cloak of non detection. Boots of I don't know what they do. Short sword of I don't know what it does. Another set of um, pair of boots of stealth and a short sort of backstepping. Okay. So yeah, I say I say we take a break now. It's uh, been long enough.
in the next video we will continue. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye!